Frucerus slackii is one of my favorite sundews when it grows in the cooler winter months, mostly because of its unique crown that it has here. You can see it has these interesting red kind of hairs that it um, extend, and you can see they um, eventually extend along the petiole. And um, they're really vivid, and I think eventually this plant, I've seen pictures where the plant is completely red, and so I'm working on this. I'm going to try not to feed it for a while and see if it can develops more red coloration. But as you can see, it's a very beautiful sundew. The only problem I've had with this is that when I grow it in the warmer um, temperatures during the summer, it's kind of developed some sickly growth and its leaves turn yellow and kind of turn white as well. And I think this is a sign of heat stress. I've heard that other growers have better results when they're growing in live sphagnum because it helps to cool the root system, but as of now I've just been growing in a peat sand mix. and so I, I have to do some experimentation with that in the near future. But as you can see, it's a very beautiful sundew. And I'll just give you a quick size comparison here. It's definitely larger than a quarter, and I, I think it's about maybe an inch and three-fourths across. Um, it's kind of cramped in the edge of the pot here, so I think it could get a little bigger too. But it is a very beautiful sundew, and highly recommend this one. I know you can get this one at California Carnivores and other places as well. So. Uh, if you can, give this one a shot, and I know that it's easily propagated by leaf cuttings, and um, the only issue, like I said, is with the warmer temperatures, so I don't know if it's just my particular clone is weaker than, than the rest, but uh, I know that other girls have, have had um, similar problems, so um, give, I, I've gonna, I'm just going to do a little bit more experimenting with this one, just to see if I can um, get this one to respond better in warmer temperatures, and I'll let you guys know as soon as I find out about that. So this is Drosura slackii.